for a lot of people, this is their most anticipated movie of 2021, and it's got so much hype behind it. Let's talk about it. Dune. Paul, a brilliant and gifted young man born into a great destiny beyond his understanding, must travel to the most dangerous planet in the universe to ensure the future of his family and his people as evil forces explode into conflict over the planet's exclusive supply of the most precious resource in existence, spice. And if that sounds absolutely insane, it's because it is. Dune is a novel now. We all know anything that's built around the book or novel or comics, just the world they've already created and the universe it resides in is it's pretty crammed full of a lot of stuff. However, the movie does a really, really good job at bringing you into this universe and it basically like kind of spoon feeds you minute after minute more information so it doesn't get like overcrowded and you don't just go like completely insane. Obviously, if you know your stuff and you've read the books and you just know the universe this is set in, you're going to have a much easier time understanding everything. For me, if I had to like describe my knowledge on like a scale, should we say, zero being literally you don't know nothing. And 10 being the ultimate grandmaster of Dune information. I'm probably only like a five. But I really enjoyed the story in Dune, the movie, of course. It is really, really good. And again, it's quite long. It is a little bit over two and a half hours. But the way they give the information, man, it's paced very, very good. You're going to like take it in, digest it minute by minute. And it's really, really enjoyable. And you can see the universe this is set in is massive man and uh, you guys know how I feel anytime there's good world building all that stuff I just want to feel like I'm somewhere else for two and a half hours and this movie done that a hundred percent now as for the cast if you have seen it the cast is like humongous bro there's so many a-list actors and actresses in this movie it's insane like for me I'm genuinely trying to find like someone I thought was the best. I gotta be fair, like everyone gave an A grade effort. There was no one bad, definitely. I think for me, Oscar Isaac stole the show. I really enjoyed Jason Momoa. I really enjoyed seeing Josh Brolin on screen. And anytime I get to hear Thanos' voice in something else, I'm definitely happy. But genuinely, across the board, everyone was awesome. Now it's time to talk about everything else and the visuals. <laughs> they are on another level, bro. I am not joking. There's multiple times I could feel myself doing it. I was just like, whoa. Multiple times, I just could not believe what I was seeing on screen. I don't know what the budget was. It must have been a lot of dollars, man, because it looked so insane. Genuinely, some of the best visuals I have easily seen this year by far. I actually think the visuals were like the best bit about this movie that it, you feel the science fiction. Like it's really hard to describe. Like, you know when you watch Star Wars or Alien, you, you just feel like you're in a sci-fi movie, man. The visuals, they're just unlike anything else you've seen. Dune had that plus even more. Just the visuals were outstanding. I, I can tell you now, man, I don't follow like awards or any of that stuff. Someone's getting an award for the visuals, 100%. Also, the sound, someone's probably going to win an award for the sound. There were sounds I've never heard before. They worked so well in this universe. Just everything blended together, genuinely perfect. Now, in Dune, there's a lot of, like, tech. You know, you've got your spaceships, you've got your weapons. Everything looks unique to this movie. A definite standout for me was, like, the bubble shield. Basically, a bracelet, you power it on, and you have this, like, shield around you. And it looks so good, man. I was really thinking how it's going to look, and it turned out even better than I thought it was going to be. To be honest, in terms of just pure scale, this has got to be, like, one of the biggest movies I have seen in a long, long time. It's very hard to describe unless you see it. There's just a lot in this movie, a lot of visuals, a lot of plot, a lot of storyline, a lot of characters. I actually don't know how they've crammed so much into one movie and yet it doesn't feel like forced. It doesn't feel like this too much. It actually feels right on point to be fair. However, before I give you my score, there was one thing that was a big negative for me. Now, this might change in time. I can't go too much into it because I have an idea what's going on. Someone like told me, but I'm not going to tell you guys because, again, I don't want any spoilers. But the ending is very, very sharp, man. It's not a bad ending by any stretch. It just kind of ends. Just extremely quick, man. Obviously, everyone wants more of a movie, but the way this ends... It just felt very, very sharp, man. And that did hurt the overall score for me. It doesn't, like, obviously turn it into a bad movie by any stretch. But that definitely was not, like, the best ending I've ever seen. It was just it was just sharp. It happened way too quick, and it just hurt the movie, man. It, maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. If you have seen it, let me know. But for me, yeah, it felt sharp, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Dune is a mega science fiction fantasy movie, and it looks 
unbelievable genuinely the visuals were talking the 10 out of 10 god tier level i am not joking some of the best visuals i've seen in a very long time the story is very very good the cast there's so many everyone is amazing and for me i just didn't appreciate the way it ended it felt very very quick also before i give you my score normally someone does ask me when a movie's based off a novel do you have to read the novel do you have to know something to appreciate the movie again my knowledge we're at five out of ten bro i could even bump that down to a four if you want going into the movie i didn't know much whatsoever and by the end of the movie i knew like everyone's character motives i knew the story i understood the world so yeah don't think you can't see this if you ain't read the novel also the last thing i'm gonna say is this movie is definitely not for everyone if you don't like fantasy if you don't like science fiction if you don't like rich worlds you probably might not actually like this movie you won't think it's a bad movie by any stretch but you just might not get that invested in it unlike me like you know i like star wars i like all that stuff i nosedived into this movie into the deep end i enjoyed the whole thing in terms of the story but if you're not into that stuff you might not like it that much and on the flip side if you love dune and you're obsessed with a novel you could rate this god tier bro it's a little bit short for me but i'm gonna give dune eight nerds out of ten to be honest if the ending was polished a little bit better probably would have given it a nine i don't know man maybe that's just me laser german have you seen dune if you have seen it please let me know down below what did you think about it thank you all so much for watching i always appreciate you spending your time here with your boy you guys are awesome and i'll see you in a bit <laughs>